Hello, my name is James Lather and I'm Head of Visual Arts for Berg Visual Arts. We're an initiative of the Maltings Theatre and Cinema in berg upon tweed We're an Arts Council MPO. We were established in 2012. This is berg upon tweed we're England's most northerly town in Northumberland, just two miles from the border with Scotland. So my role is to lead on all aspects of the visual arts programme and that includes curating an exhibition programme in two gallery spaces in the town. The gymnasium gallery which is this image here and also the granary gallery we also have a nice residency program which i'll speak of more about later and also a skills learning program which supports teachers and pupils to engage in gallery activity uh, a lot of my work a lot of the work is informed by a sense of place of berwick as a market town in a predominantly rural county it's also a coastal town close to the border with scotland and all that kind of sense of place really uh, informs a lot of the program and just to give some examples of what that programming looks like, um, we can often look at that kind of sense of place through a more historical lens. This is an exhibition of works by L.S. Lowry in 2004, seen in the Granary Gallery, which explored his connections to Berwick and wider Northumberland. He spent much of his kind of later life um, on hol taking holidays in Berwick, um, and there's about 40 works of the town they produced. So this exhibition really kind of celebrated his connections to the town. And more recently, an exhibition I curated looking at the works of Turner, which followed his 1797 journey through the north of England and Northumberland, and explored how his experience of the northern landscape really transformed his artistic practice. And then thinking about how we might look at that sense of place, but more in a, through a more of a contemporary or conceptual lens. This is a work by Turner Prize winning artist Douglas Gordon that we showed in Berwick in 2018 from the Tate Collection Working with Artists Rooms programme. Uh, the film is called Ten MS and it's a piece of archive film from the First World War that the Arts found in the Welcome Collection and it documents the attempts of a psychologically injured man to stand up and walk, um, essentially a kind of recording the real symptoms of, of, of war and, and, and the trauma of war. Um, and we place this work in the context of the gymnasium gallery in Berwick and within Berwick Barracks. So looking at the, looking at Berwick as a, as a former military, military site uh, where soldiers trained and uh, stayed and thinking about how that kind of adds a really different dimension and very kind of some dimension to, to this piece of work as well. So moving on to our arts residency programme, we've hosted 12 artists over the past eight years in berwick upon tweed and we've invited them to come and live and work in the town for six month periods. We've delivered a number of residencies in partnership with Berwick Film Media Arts Festival and this is about supporting artists to develop their moving image practice. Uh, this is a still from a film by artist Katie Davis who spent six months filming hundreds of personal stories of participants involved in the common ridings along the border between England and Scotland. And there is a link in the slides so you can watch this film in full. This is still from a film by Arats Residence in 2017 with the Film Festival, a work by Charlotte Proger called LHB. Um, and she used the residency to start a period of open-ended research into the idea of queer rurality. So again, using that kind of real sense of Northumberland's rurality to help inform her practice. So we've also been delivering a residency programme with Newcastle University Centre for Rural Economy since 2013. This residency was really kind of about rooting residency within that sense of place and inviting artists to respond to contemporary rural issues and also for artists and researchers to collaborate, to share knowledge and to inform each other's practice. Uh, this image here is Piotr Piasta, filmmaker from Poland, who was our artist in 2014. Um, and he was really interested in exploring ageing rural communities and produced a series of five short films with older people from Berwick and there's a link to those films in the slide. In 2016, ourselves and CRE started an ongoing relationship with animation filmmaker Gemma Burdett. Initially Gemma spent six months with ourselves and CRE exploring the current state of dairy farming in Northumberland and she did this through interviews with dairy farmers and with researchers at CRE in the Institute for Sustainability who also supported this residency. Um, and the resulting work, which is pictured here, was a four metre long an animation um, which traced the history of dairy farming in the county and explored how businesses have evolved and responded to changing uh, marks and advances in technology um, and to inform how we value milk and its production today. 
We then continue to work with Gem Materials in 2019 when, with the support of the CRE and NICAP, she was appointed to a research commission to explore the impact of Brexit upon rural communities in Northumberland. And in particular, Gem was interested in exploring how our exit from the common agricultural policy and the climate crisis will impact on how we use and value land in the future. So over the past year, Gem has been collaborating with six land based businesses in Northumberland to create a portrait of this change of landscape, change in landscape. These are images of some of her initial research. The project has uh, just received um, funding from Arts Council England, which will mean that we can take that, that, that research work and, and Gemma can develop into, into a series of exhibitions that will tour to three venues in the north, northeast of England, including Berwick uh, later this year and next year as well. And finally, this is Joanne Coates, who is our current artist in residence with the Centre for Rural Economy. Joanne is a documentary storyteller and photographer, and she is working with CRE to investigate the challenges and barriers faced by women in agriculture. Uh, this residency was delayed slightly um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but Joanne hopefully will be taking up residence on a farm in Northumberland um, for six months in, in, in the next few weeks. I hope that gives a sense of our visual arts program in, in Berwick and our residency program. Uh, this is my contact detail. See if anyone's got any questions about, about our program. Very happy to answer those, and also our website as well, where you can find up to date information about our, our program too. Thank you.